Well, I didn't think I'd have to do a video like this, but I'm going to try to keep it in three minutes. First off, let me just tell you, do not comply. I have seen the Alex Jones video circulating, and let me tell you, I used to be a contributor for Alex Jones. I've been on his show many times, and he vets his information. And of course, days later, what he said came true. We're starting to see the trickling back of colleges, counties, and different businesses, especially in New York, pushing masks. Not only can masks not stop an aerosolized virus, SARS-CoV-2 and all of its variants are spread via aerosol transmission, which gets into the deep lung. My colleagues and I that are industrial hygienists, also known as exposure scientists, have done the calculations to determine how long you need to be around something for it to be hazardous. Let me tell you that wearing a mask is not only not going to protect you, but it's going to create a greater harm. Not only does it impede those gaseous exchanges, which I've been calling out and showing those studies, all on alternative media for the past three years while shutting down these mandates with my colleagues, but I'm explaining to you, masks do not seal. Masks provide a less than 1% risk reduction and do uh, cause a greater issue of increased viral load and increasing the spread. Look into what the Fovin effect is because I don't have enough time for that here. But let me tell you, we need to implement engineering controls. Engineering controls, look at the upside down pyramid of the hierarchy of controls. We have to provide a 90% risk reduction in my profession. If masks provide less than 1%, then why in the world are people obsessing over this control method? Because that's just it. It's a control method. Do not wear a mask. You are safer without a mask. Masks are for large droplets of bacteria, spit and sputum, and nuisance dust. Even with that, they provide very minimal protection and provide a false sense of security. Your fraudulent KN95s and your N95 respirators are not much better. They are very difficult to fit test and they are known as the bottom of the barrel respirators in my profession. Speaking of masks and respirators, the only experts on this issue are industrial hygienists and OEHS pros, occupational environmental health and safety professionals. We have watched these white coats, which by the way, I have a white coat because I work in labs, but the point is, We've been listening to the wrong experts who cannot stay in their sandbox. And once again, they're coming in for their 15 minutes on the evening TV to tell you to mask up. Well, you know what? Tell them to go hump a cactus. Why? Because they are speaking out of credentials that don't exist behind their names. And let me tell you, you need to not comply. You need to follow me, Stephen Petty. I'm going to tag these people. Retweet our information. We are ready to stand up again, but I can't believe I have to. Masks do not and cannot stop an aerosolized virus. Again, gaps, nose, sides, gaps greater than 3% render it useless. And your N95 is also not the answer. It's very hard to fit test and you need medical clearance and a whole other issues to even have the client efficacy. What you need is a PAPR if you need a respirator in healthcare settings, but look into dilution and destruction technologies and follow me because I'm pissed and I'm not gonna shut up.